the story of my big fat Greek life. My grandparents moved from Greece to Canada in search for a better future. These were some of the last photos ever taken before their lives would change forever. I was born in Montreal, Canada, the Greekest place in the country. My brother and I grew up quite differently than most kids in the Americas. And when I was three, we moved down to the U.S. We grew up Greek Orthodox, which meant that we were completely different than all the kids we went to school with. When my mom remarried an American guy, you'd think that things would be different, but they were still done the Greek way. We grew up doing everything with our family. We celebrate different holidays at different times, and we do things the Greek way. Because everything we did was so family-oriented, it was really hard to get to know some of the kids at our schools. I mostly hung out with my family and friends that my family knew growing up. I even had to go to prom with my best friend, who of course was a Greek kid. In high school, I would always argue with my mom because she would never let me hang out with my American friends at school. But now that I look back on it, I realize that she did it because she wanted us to be more family oriented. And now I have such an amazing family and cousins that are my age that I always have fun with and they're friends that I'm going to have forever. The friends that we could hang out with, or the friends that our parents actually trusted, were friends that we met in the Greek Orthodox Youth Association, or Goya. It's where we actually met most of our friends, because five times a year, Greek kids from all over Florida would come together for different retreats and tournaments, and when we got to meet new friends and reconnect with old ones. At only 17, I was asked to baptize a child and be his godmother, and the responsibilities that followed that showed me that I had to grow up at a very young age. I love Greek holidays, not because we get to skip school for no reason, but because of the things that they represent. These are pictures from Epiphany, where a priest throws a cross into the water and the boy who retrieves it wins good luck for a year. My brother participated in one a couple of years ago, and here he is giving the cross to the winner. Every second weekend of November, since I was three years old, I have participated in our annual Greek festival. I have been a dancer, and as of recently, an instructor to the younger kids. As kind of a good luck charm, it's customary for families to throw money on the kids that are dancing. This is the one part of being Greek that I would never trade in for the world, because I get to dance and it's what I love to do, and I love the people that I get to do it with. Looking back on the hardships that my grandparents had to deal with made me realize that this is the life I was given because I was privileged enough to have it. I wouldn't trade my friends for anyone in the world, and I know that the memories I've made with them, even though they're not my school friends, are memories that I will keep with me forever. People are always telling me that they couldn't imagine living a life that I had to grow up living. But I think about it and realize that I couldn't imagine living it any other way. So I guess my big fat Greek life wasn't that bad after all. <laughs>